Hi everybody, it's Nadia here again and I just thought I'd bring to you some makeup that I've tested before on my channel then I put them in a drawer and never used them again or never wanted to try them again for one reason or another. There is some here that I do like but the majority of this is I've tried it once or twice and these formulas I want to know whether or not 100% like them. Some stuff's out of my project pan that I haven't got stuff to replace it with if you understand what I mean, like my brows. I'm still going to be using my Kiko pencil because it's the one that I'm trying to get rid of the most. There's not one that I can honestly say, oh I need to try this again for this reason. I've looked and there's none that's jumped out at me and gone, you need to retry me. That's basically what I'm going to be doing is just retrying these products, see how I like them for the second opinion I suppose because I feel like these are products that if I don't like them I need to get them out of my stash but then it's like some of them are but I can try them again and they work fine and then summertime comes around and I'm like but that in March April that that foundation was brilliant on me August September no it falls to bits on me if you're new to this channel would love you to subscribe and hit the thumbs would really appreciate it and i might be doing a few more of these videos some of these are like i said in my project pan and i just want to use up other things which i will tell you what i'm trying to work out what i like about them or what i don't like about them and how my opinion is formed on them all i started off with this morning is the becca under eye primer and the elf primer mist they're what i just put on and then i'm going in with a mac strobe don't think this does anything to be honest with you it's it's more of a case of i just want to use it up i don't know if that sounds silly but i'm just putting it on the outskirts of my face because i need a pore filling one here yeah i don't know what this does for me I don't see any glow, I don't see a lot about it. This is why this is in the project pan because I know that I would never buy this because I wouldn't generally use it, not with oily skin. And now I'm gonna try the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. And I've tried this a few times. I still can't work out if I like it or if it does anything. I'm just taking one pump, that's more than enough. You see, I feel like it does something, but then it's hydrating and it feels like moisturiser that you put on your face. It's not so much, it has, it's not as powdery, it hasn't dried down into anything uh, majorly obnoxious. <laughs> obnoxious, yeah, because something's going to be obnoxious, Nadia. Doesn't, this doesn't dry me out either. It's just, do I love it enough? to keep it in it looks nice from here but i'm only in love with it and this is what i keep saying i honestly when i use my revlon and i'm going to compare it to some things and other things that i won't but like when i put my revlon on i'm like yeah i can see my pores have gone i can with this but it still pores are there i'm like i do like it though it does look nice on the skin so maybe this is a winner after all and I don't know what I was worrying about. I think with something like this, you really do need to be using it quite regular. And because I don't, and I flick from this one to this one to this one, you never feel the benefits of them. I am just gonna go in my Kiko under eye corrector. Again, this is in my project pan. It just helps my little bags and my little glass marks. And I've realised with this, as long as I go in with the light hand and not a brush like I was doing, I don't get as much creasing. That's why ch changing up my routine is really good. So guys, I'm going in with the Colourpop No Filter Stick. I've used this once. I had disastrous effect with the No Filter because it was totally wrong shade. <laughs> even though they were ordered on the same day and even though I picked out the same foundation on the colour chart, I still ended up with two different foundation colours. I really want to give this another shot. 
so I'm just going to go in with my y Morphe Y6 and just because I found doing the foundation with the brush is a lot simpler so this is really light coverage extremely light coverage so this has been nice on a no makeup makeup day but even this is a bit too light I'm going to draw you in for this bit as you can see it's just toned everything down beautifully for light coverage for not that I put makeup on to go to the shop because it's literally like across my road but you know if you don't want to put loads of makeup on and just have a really 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 light coverage this would be perfect I'm going to try and build it up just on the cheek area so you can cover it up build it up should I say you don't have to worry too much and I don't feel like I've got the hourglass one and that one feels extremely thick whereas this is just blending out like a dream quite like this I quite like the coverage on it more for nipping around your friends ass than you would anything else but apart from that I like this gonna see how it wears the rest of the day and see if it does anything weird and funky the next thing is and I've only used this once and this is the revolution fast pace concealer it's one of them wind up ones and I can't remember how I felt about it I don't want to put loads on in case it makes it look cakey so and I'm going to use a sponge for this to see how I like this so no real coverage it is literally a if you've got no line then you'd be perfect with this um, no bags but apart from that no you definitely couldn't use this if you've got dark under eyes like I have it's sitting nice under that Kiko base but it's still really sheared out I like it but I'm not again it's one of them ones that I probably just pop in a project pan so that I could use it up so I am going to contour and I've got the Hula Quickie contour it's a mini guys it's in my project pan and I haven't got a contour that I want to try and it's right at the end so and then again with the beauty blender I do like this contour stick but then I like the tart one and that's like half the price so for setting under my eyes I am going to use my elf under eye setting powder put a bit of that on because it might stop it from creasing because it's creasing like mad already that concealer is really creased so now that I've patted it out it's not as creased so I'm glad I did that first so the next thing that I want to try is the Colourpop no filter setting powder I got this in translucent and again I did the video on it and then I've never used it since oh but you do get a lot when it comes up and it's a lot yellower than you think definitely a lot yellow a lot more powdery as well it's added a little bit of coverage on it but not lots because now my brunt, my contour is a lot more faded and I don't use a lot so I do like this one I know I don't like this under the eyes I do like this though at least I found something I've liked I do, do feel so powdery now I've used that powder and I feel like it's taken and clung in areas oh no that's the concealer I've literally got a line down my nose where I put the concealer I bet I blended it so <laughs> got a great big line there hmm not impressed with that concealer not impressed taking next the HD brows and this is a bronzer palette and again I've used it once in a video put it away never used it again 
So I think we're going to go in with this light one and just contour a little bit. Because I don't think I did that last time when I had this. I think a lot with big face palettes like this that it's... They just get so bulky and it's like, why? So now I'm going to take this orange one. So technically I'm going to use two out of this. That's it. So it's like, do I keep it on my collection to use two products when I've got loads? And this bronzer look is looking orange on me. It's sort of like a warmer block bronzer than this. I might dab into that dark shade and into the light just very lightly looks like it skipped on me i think this is a hard pass for me as well i definitely wouldn't use the two light shades for under my eyes so this i think is definitely going just gonna put some matte lip balm on so for blush i'm going to try the natasha to blush and glow so is this pink one i like it but again i'm not blown away like I say, it's nice, but it's taken a lot to get it to the niceness that I like. And I'm getting some on my brush, so it's not like... So I'm really having to pat this on to get the colour on the fence with this one. So I'm taking the Physician's Formula. It's the brick highlight. I'm just going to swirl my brush in. Plenty of kick up. And I can't remember if this was blinding if it was just a subtle does emphasize my skin texture this is nice for a subtle eye light but yeah that has picked up on my texture on this side so guys i'm gonna go in with the catrice prime and fine dewy setting mist and last time that i used this my face was so dewy it was unbelievable and sparkly and everything so I'm going to go in with this now and see. Just really humps it up. I just saw I didn't put a lot on. That's nicer than the last time that I used it. I think I must have shaked it better. Shaked it? I must have shook it better. Didn't think about that when I did it last time. Oh, I don't feel as... I, look, I felt last time that I used this felt really oily. So the next things I want to try is the morphe eyeshadow palette and i've used this once so i'm just going to go in with some some basic brown colors and just do some nice everyday wear look because they need to be i need to start using things i think i'm just going to go from lightest on um, probably go in here go to this one go to that one and then put a shimmer on my lid and i haven't set that urban decay base i just want to to see how these performed whether or not i'm gonna keep this palette and i don't even think i did the look on camera when i got this because i'd had it in my collection before i started youtube so oh that's really pretty it blends out seamlessly that's the thing if the palettes were so big it'd be beautiful so i'm going in with the third shade along i can't tell you names because if you know Muff, I don't do names. So I'm going to take that and take it lower into my crease. And this is not a tutorial at all. This is how I feel about products. But yeah, they, these are blending beautifully. I know people do aren't impressed with Morphe. And I can understand why. Because they bang out stuff so much. And a lot of the stuff is repetitive colours. But I just think that for somebody that needs to get to work yeah you've got all your neutrals down here but this 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 part is what changes everything but then again you're going in with basic colors but for a basic person like me it's rather nice so and then i'm going in with the last to darkest so and i'm going to put that on my outer part of my eye look the payoff's just there and in the crease just to darken it still that it's just so nice but like i said i've got this probably a thousand times over i haven't but you know what i mean but then i think to myself but have i you know have i got just one bog standard bordering palette that you can just chuck a look on every day and i don't think i have 
So these brands are gorgeous. And they just blend in like a dream. So you find with these sort of colours, it's like these would have to be more. Because it's gorgeous. But when would you wear it? This stunning. Literally these are one swipe and they still stuck to my fingers. I'm going to go in with the light one. The first light one. And I'm going to put that on my brow arch. And I think on my finger I'm going to go in with this champagne colour. The third one down. Just there. And just, it's like... gonna blend them together and that's looked beautiful and that white one the first one I'm just gonna put in the inner corner just to give me a pop on the bottom lash line I'm gonna go in with the first color I always have to do this on my bottom because bottom lashes because I can't put mascara because I've got about 10 eyelashes there then I always poke myself in the eye I really like this palette I really do it's nice it's just bulky I'm going to go off and put my mascara on and do my brows and then I'll be back with a lipstick and an update so guys I've done my brows and my mascara and I'm back and I'm going to try out this Urban Decay lip liner I think I've used this once just to try and I don't think I wore it. I'm going to try this. So I like that. That's nice formula. Went on smoothly, glided on. And then I've got one of the Kat Von D studded and this is in the colour Bachelorette. I've never used it. These, obviously these came out a while ago. Oh. That's a strawberry red, I didn't want that. We'll just mix and match. So I'm going to take that red off. That lip line comes up pretty easy. Wasn't expecting that. This colour would be nice with just a clear gloss on top of it. Oh, that just sun. So this is called Sisters. And it's That colour is really nice actually, I do like that. Unusual colour for me, but it's a nice colour and I wouldn't normally wear it, but because I'm neutral, I can wear that pop of colour and this is probably the only way I'll actually wear a pop of colour. So guys, the things that I'm not impressed with, I'm not impressed with this. I will say this is a light one. I probably won't get rid of it because I do like it, but it'd be a subtle highlight. The thing that I would probably be getting rid of at some stage is this HD brow. At least I know now I've tried it enough to say that the toes don't work for me. That can go. I really love this palette. I really do. It makes some gorgeous looks out of this. The concealer, not that impressed with it. Still looks nice under the eyes, but... It'd been more four days where I wasn't doing anything and just wanted to nip out to the, up the road for a coffee. But that's about it. I like this foundation. Same again. It's very light. But it's something that I would actually... Because I was actually going to put this in the declutter. But I'm not now because I know I like it. The setting powder is nice but it's light. But it adds coverage slightly. So I like that. I do like this Catrice as long as you shake it up and I think that's where I went wrong last time. The blush glow, it's nice. I'm not getting rid of it because I know how much it cost me but no, if my daughter wants to start using it I'm not, not going to stop her. And there's a highlight in now as well and it's like, but she didn't try the highlight, I should have done, shouldn't I? The lip liner and the Kat Von D lip nice nice combination nice and bright when you want that pop and everything else is what i more or less use i'm quite shocked actually there's really really two that i'm not impressed with maybe three 
So there's three that I'm not impressed with. You can't go wrong with that. Out of out of ten products, I don't like three. But I will project plan this and I'll still keep this in my collection, but I will get rid of this one because I will not use this. So that will probably come in some declutter that I do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, would love you guys to hit the subscribe button, tap the bell and let you know when I put a video out. Also, if you've got any video ideas or something you want me to look into, then let me know in the comments below. Or even if you want me to run a series, then I'm happy to. Like, Morphe Shadow series using random generator numbers i might actually do that one so yeah any video ideas if you've got them just leave them down below in the comments and i will surely get around to them so thanks ever so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye i'm sorry if the lighting's terrible i really am